standard 7th subject maths today let us learn chapter 6 indices practice set 26 let's recall each of seven children was given four books so if i ask you to find the total number of books what will you do you will add the four books seven times to get the answer and you get 28 notebooks your addition is the operation that is carried out repeatedly addition of the same number again and again can be shown as a multiplication total number of books is equal to if you add 4 7 times you get 28 you can also write this is equal to 4 into 7 equals to 28 so this is with regards to addition of a same number by itself what if we are asked to multiply a same number by itself let's have a look let's learn base and index let us see how the multiplication of a number by itself several times is expressed in short here 2 is multiplied several times so count how many times it is multiplied here 2 is multiplied by itself 8 times this is written as 2 raised to 8 in short this is the index form of the multiplication here 2 is called the base and 8 the index or the exponent look at the box 2 is shown as the base and 8 which is written on top of that number towards its right is called the index or the exponent let's have a look at one more example your 5 is multiplied by itself count how many times yes it's multiplied four times so you can write this down as equal to 5 raised to the power of 4 your 5 raised to 4 is in the index form in the number 5 raised to 4 Five is the base, and four is the index. This is read as five raised to the power of four, or five raised to four, or the fourth power of five. Generally, if a is any number and you keep on multiplying a by itself m number of times, then you can write it down as equal to a raised to the power of m. It is read as a raised to the power of m or the mth power of a your m is a natural number therefore 5 raised to 4 you will write it as 5 into 5 4 times you will not write 5 into 4 20 that will give you a wrong answer 5 raised to the power of 4 means 5 has to be multiplied by itself 4 times 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 and when you multiply you have to work out and get the answer you will get it as 625 so the value of the number 5 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 625 so this is called indices 5 raised to the power of 4 and remember 5 is the base here and 4 is the index you will not multiply base into index but you will multiply base as many times as the index is shown so index is 4 so 5 you will multiply 4 times 5 into 5 into 5 you will multiply 5 by itself okay so base has to be multiplied by itself as many times as the index is shown now let's have a look at another example Minus two upon three is raised to the power of three. This is equal to minus two upon three into minus two upon three into minus two upon three. Since it is raised to the power of three, we are multiplying the base three times. That is minus two upon three. So you get the final answer. Now minus two into minus two, two twos are four, plus four you got. Four twos are eight, and plus into minus is minus. That's how you got minus it in numerator, and in the denominator, three threes are nine, nine threes are twenty-seven. Means the value of minus two upon three raised to the power of three is minus eight upon twenty-seven. All right. 
So you just have to multiply the base as many times as the index is shown. Note that 7 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 7 itself. So any number raised to the power of 1 is the number itself. 10 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 10. The first power of any number is that number itself. If the power or index of a number is 1, the convention is not to write it. Thus 5 raised to 1 is equal to 5, a raised to 1 is equal to a. Alright. Now let us begin with a practice set 26. You have to complete the table. The first one is done for you. You have to write the indices that is the numbers in index form. Then the base, the index, its multiplication form and finally its value. So have a look at the first example which is done already. 3 raised to 4 is the indices given. That is the number in the index form. The base is 3, index is 4. Since the base is 3, 3 has to be multiplied by itself. How many times? Right, 4 times because index is 4. So final answer, 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, 27 3s are 81. So this way you have to fill in the gaps wherever required. Now second sum, indices is 16 raised to the power of 3. So you will write the base as 16, index as 3. And 16 into 16 into 16, you will write the final answer. You will have to work out. Now third sum, you don't have indices but you have base and index. Minus 8 is the base, index is 2. So from this you can write your indices. That is minus 8 in bracket raised to the power of 2. Whenever we write a negative number, we put it in a bracket. So let's look at the solution. First sum is already done. Second sum, 16 raised to the power of 3, I mentioned to you. 16 is the base, index is 3. So 16 we will multiply 3 times. 16 into 16 into 16, answer 4096. Third sum, the base and index is given minus 8 and 2. So you write indices minus 8 in bracket raised to the power of 2. In multiplication form, you will write minus 8 into minus 8. Since it is raised to 2, you will multiply minus 8 2 times. Answer 8 8 is 64. Minus into minus sign is plus. So you need not mention the positive sign here. It is understood that 64 is positive. Fourth sum. 3, raise, 3 upon 7 raised to the power of 4. Now. In this question, you are given only the multiplication form in the question. 3 upon 7 into 3 upon 7 into 3 upon 7 into 3 upon 7. From this, we come to know the indices form. That 3 upon 7 is raised to the power of 4. Base is 3 upon 7 and index is 4. And the final value you will have to multiply and find out. You get it as 81 upon 2401. Fifth sum, minus 13 raised to the power of 4 is given and you have to fill in the other gaps. So base we write as minus 13, index is 4, multiplication form you have to write minus 13 into minus 13 into minus 13 into minus 13. Value 28,561. You have to do the working here and minus into minus is plus. Plus into a next third minus is minus and again minus into minus final answer you get as plus. So remember if a negative sign is multiplied four times your answer will be positive. A negative sign is multiplied two times also you get a positive answer. But a negative sign is multiplied three times your answer remains negative. Okay now let us go to question number two. Find the value. So your indices are given, you have to find the value. So let's do this sums one by one. First sum, 2 raised to 10. So 2 we will have to multiply by itself how many times? 10 times. This gives us 1024. 
second sum phi raised to the power of 3 so phi has to multiplied by itself three times that gives us 5 phi is 25 25 phi is 125 okay i hope you have followed this you just have to multiply the base as many times as the index is given third sum minus 7 in bracket raised to the power of 4 so minus 7 you will show the multiplication four times minus 7 is multiplied by itself by itself four times that gives you 2401 as i mentioned earlier when a negative sign is multiplied four times the answer is positive okay fourth sum minus 6 raised to the power of 3 since it's raised to the power of 3 we will multiply minus 6 by itself three times so 6 6 are 36 36 into 6 is 216 minus into minus is plus and plus into minus again is minus so when negative sign is multiplied three times the answer also is negative you have to keep this in mind okay the sign is very important if a negative indices is given in question and you multiply it two times the answer is positive three times it is negative four times positive so for every even number of times it will be a positive answer all right fifth sum 9 raised to power of 3 so 9 we will multiply by itself three times so the final answer 729 sixth sum 8 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 8 itself any number raised to the power of 1 you have learned in the introduction that it is the number itself seventh sum 4 upon 5 raised to the power of 3 so 4 upon 5 is multiplied by itself how many times 3 times 4 4s are 16 16 4s are 64 and multiply denominator you get 5 5s are 25 25 5s are 125 so 64 upon 125 is your final answer and the last sum 8 sum minus 1 upon 2 raised to the power of 4 so minus 1 upon 2 is multiplied by itself 4 times when a negative number is multiplied by uh, multiplied 4 times you get a positive answer so 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 itself 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16. 1 upon 16 is your final answer. Okay. So I hope you have understood practice set 26 well. Do practice the sums in your notebook. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.